This year I have the big honor to be part of the jury in the best electric car in Romania. From 19 cars were left only seven, the finalists, the final seven car electric car. And next days we will do the test, the challenge, the test drives and all those tests. I will have a separate video where I will give you all the information from this experience. It will be really, really interesting to see which one will win. Also, I want to thank very much for the partners and for the creator of this event for the invitation. I'm really, really honored to be part of such a competition. As you probably know from my videos, I'm a big fan of electric cars. So for me, it's a big joy, if I can say like that, to be able to test drive all the cars in two days and also give my opinion about the best electric car. From my point of view, it's not such a term like best electric car or best car. It's more like a best car for every person needs, you know, because uh, you have to look at your needs and then you have to look at the price and you have to look at the options and so on. It's kind of complicated, but will be fun, will be a fun experience. And I really wait you in a separate video next week where you can see the experience, you can see the winner, you can see how were those cars on the road. And all those seven cars are 2024 models. There are brand, brand, brand new cars and will be really interesting also for you if you're on the market to buy a new electric car. Now guys, first of all, if you're in Romania, if you're in Bucharest, you can see the cars at Bucharest Mall in Vitan. Uh, I will leave the link in the description. Also in the description will be all the links with the technical data of every single car plus the price plus the sponsors and so on. First of all, I want to give you some technical data in this video about every single car that will take part in this event and next week you will see it on work so yeah let's start first of all with the biggest this one uh, kia ev9 is the biggest in the competition also it has the biggest battery but also the biggest price ev9 that we have right here with us is the all-wheel drive version 76,490 euro is the price of the car 385 horsepower 700 newton meters 5.3 seconds 0 to 100 200 km per hour is the top speed and the consumption around 22.8 kilowatt hour it comes with uh, the biggest battery in the competition 99.8 kilowatt hour it's an 800 volt architecture battery also it can be charged and it has a super super charging power 240 kilowatt in dc also it has vehicle to load vehicle to home vehicle to grid that means the car is capable to send energy to other electronics also to home and also send it back to the grid the range of the car vltp 505 kilometer we will test that as well uh, next day so stay close in the other video i will give you more information about that let's go to the next one renault scenic it's for me one of the most interesting because i didn't drive it yet it's the only car that i didn't drive it until today it's kind of a, a world premiere for me and next days will be because we will drive it and i'm really curious how it's on the road also this renault scenic come in front wheel drive that means it has a one electric motor installed on the front part the price of the car is pretty good 45,500 euro the power of the car 218 horsepower 300 newton meters 7.9 seconds 0 to 100 170 kilometer per hour is the top speed of the car 70.2 kilowatt hour is the consumption it comes with a battery of 87 kilowatt hour at architecture 400 volt and the charging speed in dc maximum charging speed 150 kilowatt also uh, you can charge the car 0 to 80 percent in around 40 minutes because it has a pretty big battery and the range it's one of the biggest in the competition 611 kilowatt vltp i'm really curious to see how we'll stand in a real world now let's go to the next one bmw ix2 we have the 30 the only version that it's on sale right now it's X drive, it's all wheel drive. So we have only two cars in the competition with all wheel drive system with two electric motors, front and rear is the BMW iX2 and Kia EV9. So all wheel drive system, the price of this BMW iX2, 55,514 euro, 313 horsepower, 494 Newton meters, 5.6 seconds, 
0 to 100. 180 km per hour is the top speed and consumption 16.3 kilowatt hour. The battery capacity 66.5 kilowatt hour and the architecture of the battery is 400 volt. Charging speed 130 kilowatt in DC is the maximum charging power. Also, we can charge the car from 0 to 80 percent in 29 minutes and the range of the car 449 kilometers VLTP. The range is not as big as the other competitors because as you probably know this BMW iX2 is not built on a proper electric platform. The platform that BMW use for this electric iX2 it's used also for combustion engine version. So yeah probably this is the only only car in the competition that use a platform that's share with combustion engines. Now let's go to the next one Hyundai Ioniq 6 that comes also as rear wheel drive in the competition it has one electric motor installed on the rear the price of the car 45,363 euro 228 horsepower 350 newton meters 0 to 107.4 seconds top speed of the car 185 km per hour 14.3 kilowatt hour is the estimated consumption it comes with a big battery 77.4 kilowatt hour and the architecture of the battery it's 800 volt this is one of the most interesting battery in the competition and system because it's also the battery that can charge the fastest 350 kilowatt in DC and uh, it has also the possibility to use vehicle to load to send electricity to other electronics and vehicles with a power of 3.6 kilowatt in AC you can charge the car from 0 to 80 percent in 18 minutes it's probably one of the fastest yeah it's not probably is the fastest charged car in this competition also the vltp range estimated it's 614 kilometers really really interesting to see how we'll hold on in real life but it's one of the car with the biggest biggest uh, battery and range in the competition also it has the best aerodynamic if i remember well 0.21 is the drag coefficiency so really really cool and interesting car to test let's go to the next one volvo ex30 we have right here the rear wheel drive version single motor extended range the version with the biggest range from uh, this car and the price of the car 43,750 euro the power of the car 272 horsepower 343 newton meters 0 to 100 in 5.3 seconds 180 km per hour is the top speed of the car and the consumption 17 kilowatt hour the battery capacity 69 kilowatt hour and it has 400 volt architecture to the battery the charging speed 175 kilowatt hour in dc and 0 to 80 percent you can charge it in around 26 minutes also the range vltp 475 kilometer and the car it's probably i think it has one of the less range from the competition uh, bmw ix2 and this Volvo AX30 it's on the second uh, worst place when it comes to range but I'm really curious to test it and to see if in if in real life will stand better when it comes to other competitors anyway let's go to the Volkswagen ID7 ID7 Pro we have right here is the rear wheel drive system that has an electric motor installed on the rear the price of the car 52,859 euro the power of the car 286 horsepower 550 newton meters 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds top speed 180 km per hour and the consumption around 14.2 kilowatt hour it has a big battery of 82 kilowatt hour and an 400 volt architecture the charging maximum charging speed in dc 175 kilowatt hour and you can charge the car from 0 to 80 percent in 28 minutes the range of the car is the biggest biggest is range from the competition 616 kilometer VLTP will be really interesting to test it I also test it and I'm impressed how Volkswagen really improved the let's say the driving feeling the mechanics and all that stuff on the car so really really curious how will stand out 
with the range in this competition because it starts as uh, the biggest this range in the competition anyway. The last one, it's MG4 and we have here the exclusive long range rear wheel drive version. That mean is the cheapest car in the competition, the most affordable, 41,910 euro. It comes at a power of 245 horsepower, 350 Newton meter, 6.5 seconds, 0 to 100. 180 kilometer per hour is the top speed of the car. 16.5 kilowatt hour is the estimated consumption. It comes with a super big battery for the size of the car, 77 kilowatt. It's a 400 volt architecture as well. The charging speed maximum in DC, 144 kilowatts. Also, it has the capabilities to send electricity to other electronics at a charging power of 2.2 kilowatt in AC. You can charge the car from 0 to 80 percent in 38 minutes and the range of the car is VLTP around 520 kilometers. We will see and we will test it also in real life next days to see that. All right guys so those are the seven finalists in this competition. I'm really excited next days to test it and to see how they will hold on together. The whole experience will be next week on my channel. I I will film everything. I will test drive every single car and I will give you my impression and I will tell you all the driving feeling. I'm really excited to have it all together in only two days to drive all these seven cars will be impressive because the, the feedback and the feeling will be much more real. So I can, I can definitely rate them a little bit better than when I have more time between them. So I'm super, super excited for this competition. Also, if you are in Romania and Bucharest, uh, you can see the car until tomorrow uh, evening. They will stay here. So don't hesitate to come at Bucharest Mall in Vitan to see the cars. Also, I want to thank very much to the Minister of Environmental in Romania that take part of this event. It's very important to sustain this electricity, to sustain this transition to electric cars, because in this way we will have much more cleaner city, much more quieter city is not just the pollution but it's also about the quiet the sound pollution and so on so i'm super happy to see more electric cars on the market it's not that it's one electric car that's good from my point of view it's the right car for the right person because there are uh, the cars are not all in the same class it will be kind of complicated to to rate them but uh, every single car it's good for some individual so yeah it, it's kind of it's kind of complicated in the end i want to thanks very much to the sponsor and partners of this event that make this possible you know and they kind of support this transition to electricity and i really appreciate that they are Vitesco Technology, it's a company from Germany that we will talk and also it has in Romania a lot of engineers and they kind of make a lot of electronics for cars and also for electric cars now. Also we will talk more in the next uh, week video. The Hotel TTS from Kovasna, Bucharest, Bucharest Mall and also Bosch service and the charging partner L Drive really really important in South Europe they kind of extend and probably they will extend in all Europe in the next years and also the main sponsor Arvo thanks very much for the invitation thank you very much for the uh, opportunity to be part in the jury uh, guys don't miss out next days will be really interesting uh, don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching and i see you soon in the next one bye guys